Asher Smith, Great Britain 2. Brittany Brown, USA in three. Brown, USA. Sharika Jackson, Jamaica in four. Jackson, Jamaica. Shelly Ann Fraser Price in five, Fraser the Price, iconic Jamaica. figure. Julian oh, Alfred, Lucy. the biggest moment of her career. Mari Jose oh, Talu, oh, desperate to make history for the Africans. Davis, Shamari USA. Davis and Shikari Richardson. Richardson USA. Who is the fastest one this, the without world? question, is one of the highest quality sprint lineups the sport of athletics has ever witnessed. This field of nine includes four of the fastest women ever to have lived. And here on a balmy night in Budapest, their paths converge once more as they prepare to try and seize this opportunity for global glory and sporting immortality. It's time for the women's 100 meter world championship final. They're away first time. Can Shelly Ann Fraser Price deliver? She's got a good start, but watch Sharika Jackson. Sharika Jackson, is she just going to do it? Oh, on the near side, right at the end. They were getting ready to write the script for Fraser Price, but from nowhere in lane nine, it's an incredible performance from Shikari Richardson. It looked as though Jackson was going to finish ahead of Fraser Price, and she did, but the Jamaicans are stunned because Richardson came through like a rocket in lane nine, her first global final, and she tastes gold. She has smashed Jackson. She has smashed Fraser Price. The iconic five times champion was stunned. Richardson needed a better start than she got in the semis. And she came through in fine style and maybe, just maybe, being in lane nine was the best thing that could have happened to her for that final. Richardson can hardly believe it. 10.65, that is outstanding. And this time, the script was not meant to finish with a fairy tale for the Jamaicans. Lane nine, definitely a good thing for Shakari Richardson. That start we couldn't have been better, couldn't have been more different than the one she got in the semi-final. And I wonder, conversely, for Sharika Jackson to not be alongside Shakari Richardson, I think that that cost her. Sharika Jackson was battling with Shelly Ann Fraser Price. They were quite rightly looking at each other, and they wouldn't have known that Shakari Richardson was having an absolute flyer out in lane nine. I think it was a really, really how dramatic the way it was set up with the different lane draws. Lyles took the men's title. Richardson has stormed, stormed to the women's title. She breaks Shelly Ann Fraser Price's championship record from last year. She's a huge figure in our sport, Richardson, but there have been question marks over whether her nerve would hold. Watch Fraser Price in the middle. She put Jackson under pressure, then Jackson begins to pull away from her compatriot. Mari Jose Talu was run out of it at this stage. Richardson came wide on the outside, still accelerating towards the finish line. And she's denied the Jamaicans a golden finish to the third night here. Lovely high knee lift, driving for the line. No sign of nerves. Remember, she's never been in a global final before, but she knew as she thrust her arms into the air, she knew she was about to taste gold and deny two of the best sprinters we've ever seen in Jackson and Fraser Price, the golden ticket to the Budapest night sky. Brilliant, brilliant running. What a way to finish day three. I said at the start of this session, I can hardly believe it's only been three days of this World Championships. It's been wonderful so far. And Shakari Richardson, quite rightly, you said it, Rob. There's been question marks about how she performs under pressure. 
Uh, when there's adversity, it's, it's been hard for her to deal with. She's a young athlete and she is incredibly talented. And it's just wonderful to see her rise to the top in a big pressure situation like this. And, and what could this do for her career at her age and stage? We know she's quick, but now she's got that gold medal. That could be a real stepping stone and a, and a platform to launch what could be a phenomenal few years for Shakari Richardson. That was one of the great lineups for any sprint final. You have four of the eight fastest who have ever, ever lived. And she blasted Jackson away in the last 10 metres. Her acceleration towards the end was extraordinary. When Jackson, as we talk about her speed endurance, who, she's, she's a great 200 metre runner. She go in the 200 later in the week, and that's her super strength. And uh, Shakari Richardson just, just made that look, look ordinary, the way she could pull away in the latest stages of the race there. And uh, I can't wait for the 200 as well. That's going to be another wonderful competition on the women's short sprints. But this 100 has, has been absolutely phenomenal the whole way through. And the men's side as well was incredibly entertaining last night, but that for me, from Shakari Richardson, has uh, been fantastic. Fraser Price is on the podium again, despite only racing twice on the circuit before coming here. Her whole season disrupted with a knee injury. A five-time champion taking the bronze. Sharika Jackson with a silver, as she had last year. Those are our three medalists. Tarlou was fourth in 10.81 after a great season. Svoboda and Brittany Brown, sixth and seventh. And we had seven women running inside 11 seconds. That's how high quality the race was. What a great race. We have seen that this track's fast here in Budapest, and it's wonderful to see a championship record from Shakari Richardson. That's very exciting as we look towards the other events that we're going to have coming up over the next seat, six days. But it's great to see these women smiling as well. It's all tension when you look at that core and when you look at the golf buggy. It, naturally, this is what they want to do. They want to be friends with each other. There's so much shared camaraderie, so much shared experience out there. And here they are just relaxing on a lap of honour. I wonder, wonder whether Shelly Ann Fraser Price would have had her doubts over the last few months about whether she could get back on this podium. She's got the gold number of the defending champion. Shikari, no, Sharika Richardson has got the green bib of the world lead. Shakari Richardson has now matched that mark with that 10.65 clocking. She'll join Sharika Jackson at top of the times in 2023, but she will be on top of the podium with the gold medal. We've never seen a quicker time in a women's world championship 100 metre final. That's how good the performance was from Shikari Richardson. From lane nine, she was destined to shine. Shikari Richardson is the world champion in a championship record. Sharika Jackson, the silver. Shelly Ann Fraser Price, the defending champion, has to settle for bronze this time. Seven women inside 11 seconds. One of the great finals and one of the all time standout individual performances in world championship sprint history. Richardson is the toast of the United States tonight.